So folks, we're back here in Mombuzzle in our uh, off-roading truck, which today we're gonna make it extra tall. Uh, I don't think Leo is too big of a fan of that. Also today, we're probably gonna go by the uh, the junkyard to see if we can find some more parts. I know a lot of you guys were pretty interested in uh, seeing me put the uh, the car back to its original manufacturer form. So yeah, eventually I wanna do that too. There's a lot of things still to cover. Uh, also buy some more bumpers, do some more customizing. You guys seem to like the way this truck looked. Uh, but I did get some really good suggestions from the last episode. Oh my goodness, this is like the best thing they've ever added to this game. This store is just great. All right, Leo doesn't seem to like to go inside of the store, so we're just gonna leave the door open. Nice breezy Canadian day, and then we're gonna go in and uh, do some shopping. Ah, look, he's restocked, so we can actually buy the uh, the rims. Uh, for the car, which we, maybe we'll do an off-road version of it, too. Uh, there's so many things I want to do. That's why I wish we had a second car in the game. Also, I, I don't think I'd ever buy these. Okay, so I know there's a couple things I need. I need more black bolts because we're missing some on the, uh, the vehicle here. Also, did they add... Oh, they added some new shifters. These are all universal. Uh, let's go with the paintable cylinder. I do want to do some customizing to the interior. So yeah, let's see what we can do here. So if I want this... Oh, it's not implemented in the game yet. You know, I saw somebody say something like, oh, you can't buy that yet. But I thought we just had to, like, I don't know, talk to Roger some more. Oh, well, we need this at some point. Isn't this taller, though? Like, look at this. This is definitely taller than our garage, right? So does that mean that we're getting an update with a bigger garage? That could be a thing. Okay, well, it's fine. Uh, we also have the universal... Uh, Caliper and brake rotor. We need to get these because ours is absolutely uh, terrible. And here is the bumper that we forgot. Uh, a little disappointed that we can't actually get the lift there. Also, uh, we got to put a race steering wheel on the truck here. I feel like that would look awesome. So we got that. Let's go ahead and buy the brake rotors because this needs to be a thing. These are absolutely terrible on the truck. And I think that's why the braking on it isn't the greatest. Uh, so we might switch this thing to green. I had a lot of people say, hey, you should do a green color on the truck, especially when we jack it up. Now, <laughs> we're going to have to do one more episode of customizing this thing. Uh, I want to slam it down. Uh, or, you know what? We could squat it. Oh my goodness, that would be absolutely terrible. Also, uh, I really want this rim shelf. Uh, I hope that I can mount this to the wall. If not, it'll be on the ground. I've got a lot of stuff, a lot of cleaning I've got to do. All right, so I think we've pretty much gotten... Uh, what we need for today's episode. Uh, Roger's really happy that we went and spent a lot of money with him. Oh man, I almost forgot all the dash stuff. Can I just slap this right on? Oh, you can kind of stick it wherever you want, huh? Let's get all these on real quick. Uh, I feel like this is just a thing that's needed. Yo, that's, uh, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, I like that a lot. All right, Leo. Uh, oh, forgot to close Leo's door. All right, we're ready to go. We're gonna head back home. Uh, let's do some customization first, and then we'll head out to the, uh, the junkyard and see what's new out there. Okay, we're going to the side. Oh, no! Oh, that's a tree! Oh, my goodness. You know, it's been a while since Komodo's, uh, destroyed something. Oh, no. I saw a lot of stuff go flying out. All right, there's the bumper. I saw the steering wheel go flying out, and then we lost a rotor. I don't want to go spend more money with Roger. He has enough of my money. Oh, my goodness. Okay, look down. Uh, something else fell out, too. Looks like our shelf fell out. I, I think that was it. Uh, holy man, yeah, we need to get a count there. Okay, be careful now. Honestly, I feel like we could have went even further out on the spacers here. Uh, my tires poke out a little bit, but I feel like we put the lift kit on. I'm going to want them out even further, so we'll probably have to pick up the biggest spacer uh, relatively soon, but we got enough customization. Oh, there goes a the rabbit. All right, time to pull back into our absolutely messy garage here. Uh, it's really bright now, uh, especially when the floodlights are on, too. All right. Uh, I swear, folks, I'm going to organize this at some point. Very unorganized, just like my life. All right, let's go ahead and stick these on here. It is time to give this bad boy a lift. Like, I wonder if I put a 12-inch lift, which that's the leaf springs I've got. Wait, where's the point? There it is. Uh, is it going to be this tall? Like, I almost feel like we should have bigger tires in the game now. Okay, that's all set up there. Let's go ahead and get... You know, we should probably let the dog out. Um, sorry, Leo. Um, here, go ahead. Uh, get out. There you go. Okay, so we do get to change everything out here. This is gonna be, uh, lovely, I think. Alright, so let's go wheel here. We're gonna stick the spacer on top of the wheel. That way I don't lose anything. So, how do we get the leaf spring out? That's a good question. Um, I think, okay, so here is the caliper. 
Does the rotor just pop off? Hold on, let's go this. Okay, there goes the rotor. There goes the caliper. It seems a, not as complicated as the uh, the car is. I feel like there was a couple more bolts. So how do we take this thing off? This is why I wish we had the lift uh, here. So let's go bolt off, bolt off. Uh, I'm assuming there's a third bolt in here. Probably need to get on the creeper. Uh, let's go investigate this real quick. Oh, the dog's just chilling here. Was it just two bolts? Seems like there would be a third one back here, right? I guess not. All right, well, let's go ahead and just unbolt uh, all the uh, the bottom parts here. Now, this really isn't going to be as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is going to be uh, rather quick. All right, let's unscrew those. Uh, yeah, all these pieces are rusty anyways, uh, so I feel like it's our duty to do this. All right, so take that one off there. And, okay, so everything's off on the bottom, so I can put the creeper over here. And we're going to go ahead and take off all the wheels and the... Rotor should slide right off. Uh, we'll go ahead and install probably the leaf springs next, and then we'll move to the rotor caliper, and then we'll put the tires back on, uh, and then she'll be set. I almost want to go get those spacers, the bigger ones now. Like, I'm having that remorse of not doing that. Uh, so maybe we'll take the car. We haven't driven that, honestly, in a while. Actually, we haven't driven it since this update. Like, it was already outside the garage. Um, I gotta make sure it still runs. Also, there's parts we can go buy for it. But I think we'll save its overhaul for another episode. Okay, it's gonna slide off here. I knew I was gonna regret that. I had people even telling me, hey, get bigger spacers. All right, does this slide off now, this spring? Uh, yoink, okay. I guess we'll load those in the rusty uh, parts pile. I should take that to the junkyard. Uh, we'll probably not do it. Actually, you know what, we'll be ready to go. Uh, maybe we'll take all our rusty parts out there and see what we can sell. Might as well get some money back for it, right? Okay, here comes the last leaf spring. All right. So this thing has been gutted. It looks actually really cool sitting here on the uh, on the jack stands. It would be even better on a lift. Like I said, I don't think that lift would fit in here. I don't Maybe it will. Uh, maybe I'm just confused. Okay. First thing I can do, I can go and bolt this new back bumper on. Um, I like this. Looks really good. Okay, here's our furniture. So if I go into grid mode, does this snap in? Oh, that is not how I want to do that. Uh, also, I need to take those packs over to the, uh, we'll call them the farmers. Yeah, I don't like these will snap down. I think this is literally just storage that I can stick in here. So we'll stick that over to the side. Can I put the old wheels in there? I think it's only really meant for uh, rims. Yeah, I wish, which maybe we can get another one of these. I like this uh, wall rack. Like, I'd like a customization and an upgrade uh, update for the uh, garage. That way you can add, like, new shelves and stuff. Like, ones that stick to the walls. All right, we're going to hand out uh, one rotor to each side. All right, let's go and do that. And then one caliper to each side. So that'll be good to go. Got to be sure to put the uh, steering wheel on, too. All right, let's get these new leaf springs on. So this is a 12-inch lift. Uh, so we're going to go down in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I like that. I like that a whole lot. Wait, where's my... Okay, my other one's over here. That's what I was saying. It's so, like, unorganized. And I know I keep complaining about it. You know, I kind of want to do an experiment of not bolting this down and then putting it off the lift and just trying to take off with it. I feel like that'd be hilarious. Okay, those are all on there. Hold on, let's pop this open. I gotta remember to do... Actually, how do we get that off? Uh, I'm assuming there's a bolt in here. Hello. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, so we got that in there. Okay, let's pop steering wheel off real quick. Uh, we got to keep this thing. This thing's glorious looking. All right, and we want to pop the new one on there. Yeah, buddy, that looks good. Okay, I think that's all buckled down in there. All right, let's go ahead and put the rims on. There it goes. Uh, let's get these wheels on real quick, and then we're going to have to take the... Uh, the jack stands no longer work. <laughs> Okay, so that's a mock-up of how high it's going to set up. Yeah, the, the tires definitely need to go out. It looks way too narrow now. All right, well, we know what our objective is. Uh, I'm going to bolt down the bumper. Uh, we're going to have to go to the store in the car and get the correct wheel spacers. But, I mean, so far, I'm enjoying this. I'm liking this a whole lot. like the way it looks. Oh, my goodness. It has been a while since we've been in this thing. Oh, it's just as unpredictable. You know... It would be really good if this road was paved. We would get a ton more grip with this thing. Uh, so, yeah, that's probably what we need to do. But, yeah, I have the urge just to make this thing look like the original car. Like, not the rusted out version, but, like, say you just bought it off the lot. 
So it's almost as if you're going to restore it back to its former glory. And of course I'll regret it and want to do like some sort of like off-roading version or something. Oh, I just like that that's an option now. Oh my goodness. Ouch, that hurt. You know, we could turn this into an off-roader. That way we'll be able to handle these roads. Uh, that's an option too, since we can put those off-road tires on there. Okay, here we are. Right, parking brake. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy off. There we go. All right, so we got to pick up from uh, Roger here. What was the biggest spacer? So it's 160. Is that too... I don't think that's too extreme, to be honest with you. Like, I feel like that's actually what we need. Okay, let's put these bad boys on here. This is hopefully the size that we need. Uh, boom, and then boom. Uh, yes, that... Okay, that's a lot better. All right, we're definitely using the 160s here. I didn't get black bolts on everything, but we're pretty close. Oh my goodness, the truck is so tall. All right, so the last thing I want to do real quick, I want to paint this thing green. I am very, like, indecisive when it comes to colors. Uh, so let's go ahead and spray paint this thing. Uh, see what it turns... Oh, it's doing... Oh, we're doing the... Oh my goodness, okay. Um, no, I did not mean to do the interior green. It's good to know that we can do that. I'm pretty sure I have a color I can offset. Uh, green interior is just... That ain't it, Chief. Also, yes, you can paint the front grill. Hold on, let's go black here. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, we're out on that one. Um, I got some black. Okay, we got 86% here. All right, so let's black out that front grill real quick. Uh, oh, that looks good. Uh, might even black out the tires. I need to fix this in here. There we go. Blacked out interior. Uh, liking this. I don't want to start on the... Uh, now let's have another couple blacks. No, I need to organize my paints, too. I, I don't want to sit there and start on the tires. I'm pretty sure I can paint those. All right, Leo, let's go. This is a very, very bright truck now. All right, there we go. Lift kit is on. We are ready to... Uh, let's go driving around a little bit. Let's check this out. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, my goodness. It's as if we're driving a monster truck. All right, I like this. All right, let's go for... Actually, I should probably shift forward. Look at this thing. It looks pretty sick. Uh, I think the... Oh, the front door looks like it's a little off. So, yeah, there's other styles of suspension, too. Like, I think there's a heavy-duty one, which that might be a little better for the off-roading. Uh, we'll have to do some experiments. Uh, I think this is literally just a lift kit. Uh, isn't going to necessarily make it handle better, but it looks pretty... Actually, it looks a little too ridiculous. I don't think I'd have a lift kit this high up. Uh, I owned a truck, and I think it had like a, a, I think it was like a four inch, and I think that was almost enough for me. Okay, gotta remember my way to get to the. Oh my goodness! Wait, what is it? Uh, oh my, what road is that? Was that the road to the junkyard? Maybe this is it. Um, potentially. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Yeah, you know, I am having fun here on the uh, in the backwoods. This is this is fun because you can throw this truck around. Holy man! Uh, oh, is it getting dark? Uh, oh, I guess it's about to rain or something. Looks like it. It definitely changed a little bit there. You know what I forgot to do? Load up the uh, the bed with all the rusted parts that I was going to go sell because I got so distracted with how cool the truck looked. Folks, we like to call that YouTube revision. Uh, you've got an objective, and you kind of forget all the little small things that you were going to do. It's fine. I'm sure we'll be coming back here anyways. Uh, all right, so here we are. Junkyard time. Um, Jim's pools. Uh, let's see what we got. Yo, Jim might be jelly of our truck. Uh, it looks really good now. All right, so let's go looking in here. What can we pull? Um, obviously, there's the frame, which I kind of wish we could take this. Uh, oh, wait. There's uh, the original wheel. Like, it's a good version of it. I think the other one was missing the airbag. Okay, well, we're going to pull that for sure. Was that the unique part I, that I needed to find? Um, it might have been. Hold on, is there anything else in here? Uh, there's another frame. Uh, that one doesn't have anything in it. Anything in here? There's a steering wheel in here. Nope, that is not one that we can take. So yeah, uh, it's actually rather empty. I mean, I really kind of regret not taking all my stuff. I uh, should have done that at least, but uh, it's fine. All right, so we are good there. We have the, uh, the steering wheel. I probably should stick that inside of the truck it's a, a bit of a bumpy ride but yeah uh, i think we'll do a slam down version of the truck uh, i don't think that's going to help us also there is like i said the option for heavy duty um springs which i feel like okay we got to get that out of there 
Yeah, I feel like those would be kind of cool to have. Um, and there's still the option that we might change up uh, the front bumper and the overhead. Okay, so I did see some comments about looking around town. Also, I'm probably blinding everyone uh, here. It's probably not a good idea. I make sure I don't have any bills. Is this place still open? So somebody said there was a uh, new building in town that I missed. Uh, hold on, box 69. Yes, let's go ahead and sign that. There we go, post box, boom. So, oh, apparently I've blocked traffic. Where is the new building? Uh, maybe it's down here by the wood place? Or it might be down uh, where you get the, maybe where you get the supplies for the sugar shack? I don't know, we haven't even been over to the other island. Uh, we'll probably save that for the next episode, so if I can't find anything here... Uh, maybe we'll wait until we do some work on the car. Make it like an off-roader or something. Okay. Wait, there's something. Oh, my goodness. Uh, there's something over here. Wait, is this where the school bus normally is? No, this looks different. Wait a minute. Turbo. Oh. Okay, I was thinking maybe it made sense why you have the big garage uh, lift. And I was thinking maybe they'll let you open up. Like, I really wish you could open up your own, like, uh, auto parts store. And say it had like random, also we're gonna copy down this number. I feel like this is important. Uh, say you had like random um, people come in with things you could repair. So I think that's probably the number I need for something. I'm hoping that's the paved roads. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the truck. We'll see you guys next time.